Hey guys, welcome to Fur Tutorials. So guys, today I create really cool and smooth cloud effect with using Octane Render. So firstly guys, I create water. So use landscape and change size. So go to object and size. I take first one 2000 and second one 200. Yes, and same 2000. Yes, right. Okay, so guys, I go to display, select God shading lines. Yes, and now increase segments, segments 500 and 500. Yes, right guys. Okay, so use border at C level uncheck. Yes, and see guys, that's my water. Right, okay. So guys, all is good. Now I apply cloud. So I go on octane and live window. That's my preview. So select and drag and drop in left side. Yes. And click on here. Yes. Right. Okay. So guys, I also take camera. So I go to object and use camera and camera check and guys select this camera and all rotation take zero and zero and change position. Yes. And guys, last one, like 1000 actually more. Yeah. So guys, Y axis, I take like 200. Yes. Right. Okay. So guys, now I apply cloud. So select this camera and little bit closer. Yes. Yeah. Okay. So guys, now I apply cloud. So I go to object and use octane VDB volume. Yes. And select this and go to file and click. I see that's my round cloud that's my cloud file so select and open yeah I select this volume and go to up and change import unit I take hectometer yes and guys go to on top view panel and closer like this Right. Okay. So guys, now I change setting. So select this medium and click on medium and volume step length decrease like 0 0.2. Yes. See guys, that's my cloud and density guys take this time 80. Yeah. And guys, you can increase this size. So go to here VDB file and I go to code. And you can change also size this one like 1.5 1.5 and 1.5 yes and go to little bit down yeah and go to here select right guys that's my like cloud is good and now guys I apply glow effect so use this time some shape and my shape is inside tool and select this inside and side I take three. Yes. Right. Okay. So guys, now I also take more this time rectangle and breadth size. I take like 0 0.5 and height 0 0.5. Yeah. And third one, use swap tool and select both shape and make child with swap. Yes, and go to up. Okay. So guys, little bit increase rectangle size like one and one. Yes, and camera uncheck. See guys, that's my shape. And now select this inside tool and go to a mid select. Okay. So guys, I also change center pivot. So select the swap tool. And I go to mesh axis center and including children use all object and point center check. Yes. And go to admit guys go to front view panel. Yes. Good. And little bit back. Yeah. Right. Okay. So guys go to camera. Yes. It's really good. And now guys, I also change size. So go on here, render setting 
and size I take 1000 by 1000 best size for Instagram yes and close yeah right and render preview yes great okay so guys now I apply SDRI image so use SDRI and I go to object and use SDRI environment yes and apply guys texture like sky texture that's my sky texture you can download this texture from my website it's free and open yes right okay so guys i fix this texture so go on uv transform and click on here uv and decrease this size this size more little bit up this one yes right that's my background texture and guys I also apply light so use octane daylight yeah and guys make sky texture check yes and guys go on again sky octane sky and type visible environment yes that's better okay so guys now I change this cloud color so select this VDB volume and medium and click on here and guys see that's my color and you can change color so select first one I take like pink color pink like this I take more light yeah this one is good so go to back and this one scattering I take white little bit white yeah light white right okay see guys that's my cloud right okay so guys select the swap tool and little bit smaller yes and rotate yes right okay so guys now I create material for this swap tool so I go to create and shader and open this material and I go to emission and texture guys use rgb spectrum and guys also take pink color pink yes and go to back guys surface brightness check and double sided check and apply on swap tool yeah right okay so guys now I go on camera and post processing check enable bloom I take like 20 actually you can take also 10 20 is depend on your work and go to camera image enable and saturation to white I take 0 0.2 that's it right see guys okay so guys now save this project save go to desktop yes right okay so guys now I create star so use star this one and point decrease I take point 0.5 yes and guys select the star and inner radius and outer radius change like 4 and 8 yes and guys use extrude and make child with here yes and guys movement I take like 0 0.5 yeah and guys now I take cloner select this extrude and make child with cloner yeah guys select cloner and mode I take grid array yes and count increase like 5 and 5 and 5 and size I take like 1000 1000 and 1000 yes right okay so guys now I apply random factor so select this cloner and use random yes right it's really good so go to here position guys you can change any position like this randomly and also change this scale size like scale size 0 0.5 yes okay so guys select this cloner and little bit of down fix yes and go to and mid yeah right see guys that's my beautiful star 
and now also apply this material on cloner yes that's my glow effect okay so guys copy this material copy and decrease aviation power like 50 yeah now second one apply on cloner yes right okay so guys all is good now third material actually second material i create water so save this project save and create new material and open guys material type i change i take specula this one yes and fake shadow check yeah and now guys i go to a note editor and create full screen go on here yes okay so guys i create water effect so use scattering medium select and connect with medium this one and guys now i use rgb spectrum connect with first one and again one more time connect with second one yeah and change color so guys rgb spectrum i take pink color right and press ok and guys second one i take blue color yeah so guys go on scattering medium and density i take like 0 0.1 yes and select this material yeah okay so guys now also connect with transmission this one also connect with here yes this one is also better and now guys i create wave effect so use turbulence so go on here search and type trouble yes and select this turbulence and connect with bump yes i select this turbulence and power 0 0.1 and octave i take 4 yes and i go to uv here project and select this project and texture projection i use box yes that's it guys that's my water material and close close apply on landscape yes that's really beautiful see guys that's my water right it's really glossy effect glossy wave okay so guys now all is good i apply more clouds so create little bit screen and guys select this swap tool and also cloner yes that's my file and group so shortcut command is alt g yes that's my null object and go to top view panel guys copy this null object press ctrl c and v and go to back here yes and again copy and go on here yes right see guys that's my glossy effect right okay so guys now all is good i go on final render setting so channel use pt and go on here setting and guys max amp use 3000 this one yes and gi clamp i take one yes that's it so close and stop this rendering stop and click on here render okay so guys now i change go on render setting standard to octane and select this octane render use all gpu check and click on here yeah after rendering save this image and guys also take some color correction so filter enable filter check saturation i take 10 and contrast use also 10 after render save this image and see guys that's my beautiful clouds and render is and water is good background is really glossy okay so guys that's it it's my simple cloud effects is finished so if you like my video please share and subscribe my youtube channel thank you